on my diva bag. So here we are. David, I think you should go first because, whoa, you're the mole? I don't think so. Go ahead. Tell me what happened. Here is the deal. I thought we were going to start <laughs> this chat with your new and developed feud with Mr. Joseph Gorga, which we have to share. I with know. Everyone. But no, we have something now that has trumped this that, you know, because, okay, so everyone <laughs> watched last night's ep- I don't even know if everyone's aware of this because like it's really existing on the blogs, but <laughs> we watched la- last night's episode. There's no shock. And Teresa explodes and loses her shit at Margaret, which we've seen. And Teresa is finally now making this claim that, The reason that Margaret is hearing all this stuff about Luis is because Margaret, and like, this is, believe it or not, this is a very um, elaborate, like, you know, I'm shocked. This is Bravo to someone that you can call Forrest Gump, not me, but you called her Forrest Gump. This is a pretty advanced argument for Teresa. She's like, the reason you keep hearing this stuff, Margaret, about Luis is because you are actually putting it out there. And so you're actually putting it out and making it up. And that's why you keep hearing it. That's kind of an advanced argument for Teresa. Uh, Yeah, if if Teresa's the one who came up with that. Someone might've told her that. And you know, listen, I watched and Margaret was like, are you fucking crazy? And I know Margaret. So I'm like, you're crazy. She's not doing this. And that was the end (laughs) of the episode. And I'm like, I took notes for the whole episode. I can't wait to talk to Kim tomorrow. We're going to talk about her new feud with Joe Gorga. And then I wake up and there are 800,000 DMs and texts that all these Bravo bloggers think that I am the mole. (laughs) That are you laughing? (laughs) Kim is like literally laughing you guys I'm crying guys I am crying I'm crying and I'm not even going to give these little web pages any (laughs) whatever no I mean I don't just mean that they say this okay let me try there are pictures which we will share as part of this episode so if you guys have not seen this on any of the blogs or anywhere else it literally (laughs) has a picture of me i'm finding it as we speak because i just had it it has it's a, you me vanessa and poor gail <laughs> it is you me vanessa and our friend gail who has nothing to do with this and it also is a picture of me at so they're saying for sure marge is leaking and digging here's the blogger at her mom's <laughs> at her mom's party last week who's friends with Kim D and Louis X. So there is a picture of me eating at the party because that is the screenshot of the show me. And it says I David can't. Yontef. And then next, so first of all, they're making the, he must be the blogger that's leaking this because he was at Marge Senior's 75th birthday. And then totally unrelated, they have a picture taken like three weeks ago of me, you, and Louis. it says Luis's ex. Her name happens to be Vanessa. So wait, I, was it three weeks ago? It was in October. This wait, picture wait, at your what, fashion show? When was my fashion? March. It was March. Yeah. Oh my God. See, That's, I'm losing my mind. I'm yeah, like, if March. you tell me your fashion show was like seven months ago, <laughs> I, I'm going to think that I'm doing drugs or something. It was like three <laughs> weeks ago, Kim. So I, I'm blown away by all this. Go ahead. Oh, no. And then, and then under it, it says busted <sighs> and Marge contacted <laughs> And then it goes on, it basically goes on to trash Margaret. So it's obviously a Teresa favorite fan page. And it says that Margaret, it's a, <sighs> Teresa was talking about me last night. Teresa was talking about me <laughs> that because I was at Margaret's 75th, mother's 75th birthday party, that Margaret is leaking new, first of all, let's boil this down. Let's boil, and this <laughs> is all over. So anyone that hasn't seen this, going up oh it's pr- this is priceless i'm just loving it i love it and you being you. the mole the word mole is just my favorite word of the day right now like if i was on the andy cohen it would be the secret word mole because i'm just obsessed with the word go ahead i'm shocked that like you know trey hasn't blocked me or anything now let me say so then oh no so then so first of all thank you to all of the loyal behind the velvet rope listeners that actually saw this shit because you're the ones that all started flooding my dms i had no idea what was going on so (laughs) then after this happens i of course text my good friend marco josephs and i'm like what the fuck is going on and then i sent her this picture and i'm like wait so like they think that like i'm the mole and i'm like involved in this 
And then, of course, two seconds later, my phone rings and it's Margaret. Of course. Of and course. then I sex you because now you're in this picture. I'm like, okay, listen, first of all, and then, oh, I forgot to tell you. So then the, the like media starts calling. So I've made an official statement to the media. Let me read my statement. <laughs> yeah. Might as well read our official statement here. Not that yes, I'm all, we might as well. Not that I think I'm all that, but like this is my listen. I am a lawyer, so I choose my word. This is my official statement to the media. Go ahead. Which they they like ran this today. People have tied me to last night's R H O N J episode, in which Teresa incorrectly accuses Margaret of leaking info to "quote unquote" bloggers. They have incorrectly identified. <laughs> they have incorrectly identified me as a "quote unquote." Oh, they have incorrectly identified me as "quote unquote" the blogger simply because I am friends with Margaret Josephs. Recently appeared on an R H O N J episode in attendance at her mother's seventy fifth birthday, and have one of the leading and biggest Bravo podcasts behind the velvet rope. Uh, my, of course you do. I had to put that in there, honey. My <laughs> podcast, and then listen, my, and then I say, my podcast Ugh. is an interview show where people from Bravo are interviewed. It is not a gossip show where I reveal gossip or things I quote unquote heard on the streets, as they say. I am not a blogger. Being friends with Marge and having a media outlet through the vehicle of a successful daily Bravo pod, pod are mutually exclusive and have nothing to do with each other. It is sheer coincidence, and people are certainly grasping at straws to connect the two. Margaret Joseph has never leaked anything to me. We have much better things to talk about when we get together than Teresa Giudice or her current and hopefully indefinite relationship with Luis Reale. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to get a little nice. fucking shade in there towards Teresa at the end. Because, like, exactly. I it was, don't fucking start this narrative that I'm so... I mean, okay, listen, there's so much wrong with this. Margaret has never, we just, it's like, it's like when you tell me that you've called Dolores. Me and Dolores do not talk. I don't right. ask her questions right. that I can, I should, listen, if me and Mark, if me and Dolores talk about the show or th it's things that she don't care about. It's, right. you know, like I asked her about Jen, but I would never put her job on the line or a situation where, you know, I would ask her so I can leak something. I wouldn't, that's my friendship is too dear to me to do that. So same. go ahead. Same. same so way. that's same like thing. the same thing. And so that's the first thing. The second thing is, I mean, it's, second is just what I said. Like, this is an interview show. Like, where do I sit around every week saying, guess what I heard? I mean, like, okay, I do it a little bit here on Patreon. Oh, me, but, I do it. Right. I do it when, yeah. Cause that's what I'm doing with you. That's my job is to recap the show and, you know, say what I heard. And I don't give two shits if anybody doesn't like it. I've been hearing since the tweet to Joe Gorga, oh, she just wants to stay relevant. Oh, she just wants to do this. Okay, let me clear that up.